morning year seven. Wednesday the 24th of June. Lovely day out there today. Hopefully you get a chance to get out there and enjoy it. Um, today's lesson, and obviously you've got until till Monday to watch this and complete this, um, is on how the enslaved resisted slavery. So if you write down the key learning question and the title, then press pause um, after I've set you up with the starter. So if you just use the pictures to think of ways slaves resisted slavery, um, so have a little think about what those pictures stand for, and then we're going to go into the detail um, today. Okay, so press pause, off you go. Okay, so we have... Uh, they used tools to resist slavery, and they broke some of their tools so they didn't have to work. Um, some of them are pleading that they're going insane. Some of them will actually revolt back. Some will run away. Some will burn the crops. Uh, and here some will, will get injured and injure themselves to make sure that they can't work. So there's more ways we're going to look at today in terms of slave resistance. So on, on the plantations, the enslaved Africans tried to slow down the pace of work by pretending to be ill, causing fires, as we said, or accidentally breaking tools. Whenever possible, enslaved Africans ran away, as you saw in the pictures at the beginning, and some escaped to South America, England or North America. All of these acts made slavery less, prof less profitable and was a, an example of them revolting and going against their owners. But resistance was difficult because enslaved Africans who escaped were often quickly recognised as runaways and returned to be punished by their owners. And unarmed enslaved Africans had to be brave to fight against their owners with guns and, and, and support of the army that their owners might have. If you take a look uh, at that, despite any of the dangers of the hundreds of slave revolts uh, in the Caribbean, and you can see uh, Barbados, Antigua, Jamaica, Grenada, St Lucia, lots of different revolts and, and, and against their owners on their islands and lots of opportunities for some of them over the years to, 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 to free themselves. And they made it clear that if they were not set free, they would soon free themselves. So there are over hundreds of slaves of different revolts throughout this uh, 200, uh, you know, 100 or 250 odd uh, period, year period. And loads of them um, were, were getting away uh, and getting out and resisting it properly. So... We have got nine key reasons, nine key ways that people went against and resisted slavery. Okay, nine key ways. Um, I just want you to see whether you can simply see what these stand for. Okay, so nine different things. Press pause, just put one to nine. Maybe start with this one up in the top corner as number one, just up here. Uh, and then work across to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just write down one word that you think the picture represents on how people re resisted slavery. Okay, so press pause. Give yourself a good couple of minutes to do that properly and to write one word. So if we do one together, the bottom one there is being sick. Okay, so they don't have to work. Off you go. Make sure you press pause, guys, and do it properly. Okay, so the first one is escape. So give yourself a mark for that. Get a different colour pen, a green or red pen. And, and if you need to edit it with a green pen, that's the whole point of learning. You're not always going to get everything right. We always know that. You know, you need to make mistakes when you learn and learn from feedback from teachers and each other. So escape uh, costs the owner. Okay. Poison their owner, okay, which costs their owner's health or life, so poisoning them is a good idea. Working really, really slow, so there's less work and less profit for their owners. Breaking the tools, wasting time and costing the owner money. Learning to read and write themselves, and when they've got more knowledge, and knowledge being power, they might be able to try and write things and send messages out to people who didn't know it was happening to help them. Pretending not to understand things and waste time, costing the owner more money. Faking illness, wasting time and costing more money. Stealing stuff, all right, costing the owner. And also keeping traditions like we saw last lesson and, and making sure that um, they don't forget about their traditions from their countries like rhythm and song. So you've got nine, okay. 
Um, it would be excellent if you're able to kind of print this slide out from Show What I Work, but don't worry if you can't. You've got nine. And what I want you to do with the nine, and you can take your time to do this, you can sketch them if you want, don't want to cut them out, it's completely up to you. I want you to try and think about creating a diamond nine. So we have nine different reasons and nine different ways, sorry, that people resisted slavery. I want you to think about a diamond nine. So essentially, if you're cutting them out, you can piece them across your page like this. But if you're not able to do that, which is fine, you can just write one of them down and then put a little sketch underneath. So you've got a diamond nine. Now, you might think, OK, that's fine, sir. But what does the nine mean? What does number one mean? What does number two mean? What does number nine mean? So this is a diamond nine of significance. So essentially what I would like you to do is rank these nine in order of how effective you think they are. So if you think, let's go back, um, learning to read and write could be the most effective because knowledge is power and they can get the message out to people who could help them stop and abolish slavery, then you put that as number one. So you're almost ordering them in order of what we call importance, but in history the word is significance. If it's significant, it is an impact on ending slavery. Okay. Um, so you're ranking them one to nine, and then you're going to organise them into into a diamond. Um, and let's just see. This is a task that I'd do if you were in lessons and you talk through things, but I think you can do it on your own. So if you rank them one to nine like that, okay. Press pause and and, and do it now. Okay. So sketch them if you need to. Um, if you um, need to um, jot down the names and rank them, then that's absolutely fine. Okay, so press pause and do that now. All of the ways that slavery was resisted. Okay, now you probably see what's coming. If you've got a diamond nine like that, and you've got your most effective at the top and the least effective at the bottom, it means the, the two and three are going to be second and third most effective. So you've got to organise them in order of importance and significance. I'd now like you to write a sentence to explain why number one is the most effective and why number nine is the least effective. Okay? So press pause. I want one sentence to say, I picked breaking tools as the most effective way to resist slavery because... Or I picked... Uh, traditional rhythms and keeping traditional music going as the least effective because. Okay. So now what you've got is give yourself pause and give yourself some time to, to, to write your sentence for that. What you've got is an overview of how they resisted slavery. You've got nine key reasons on how they resisted slavery. And rather than going into the depth and detail today, you've then got a diamond nine with two sentences. The final task, and I'd like you to send these through to me, please. I mean, if it doesn't have to be typed. It could be a picture of your work, your written work. But I really want to see these to, um, today, tomorrow or Friday, please, before Monday. I'd like you now, with all of these nine things, to explain how slaves resisted slavery. To use your quality English work that you, you always produce, your adjectives, your explanations, your points, your evidence, your explanation linking things together really nicely and actually the best ones will touch on all nine of these reasons they will say things like this one way that slaves resisted slavery was they broke the tools that were used on the plantations this was effective because it meant that their work was slowed down and the slave owners would get angry because they're not making any profit full stop Another way that slaves resist slavery is learning to read and write. This was because, and so on and so forth. So, so have a go at that. I'm, I'm guessing that a good answer to this is going to be at least a couple of paragraphs because you're going to really use those nine reasons, to, to, to nine ways that they try and stop slavery um, to, and resist it, to bring this together into a good answer. Guys, that's it for today. Um, it's a short lesson, but it's, it's got quite a lot of work from you. Monday's live lesson will be on the abolition and the stopping of slavery and who, who actually worked really hard to stop it from carrying on. Um, but um, good luck. Send me through everything you've done and have a really good day. I hope you get to enjoy the sun over the next few days. Um, and please encourage more people to join the live lesson 
2.30 every Monday. Doesn't change. Link goes into my homework and to your emails. Remind everyone, please, including those that haven't come to the lessons yet. Thanks. Bye.